So I, I'm from Utah, and there are a lot of therapist organizations around here that are, um, they're, they're very prestigious out here at least. And I've, there's tons of um, facilities where they're called like healer, healer environments, and they're actually really careful with not just who they hire, but like, you know, not just anybody who has a master's or a doctorate can work at some of these facilities. They actually look for people who are, who have specific gifts, who are, you know, healers in a sense. So anyway, kind of cool. Um, working environment, there is a lot of social interaction, so you really have to be a people person to, you know, to do this job. And most therapists um, communicate by some form of communication with their clients. It's either in person, by phone, email, or letters. I've heard of um, some where they even Skype with their clients just to really accommodate and help um, meet their clients' needs. And there's also um, some therapists work on a team of therapists, or some have their own practice, or some are just simply self-employed. And so that's kind of the typical working environment that they have. Um, they usually work full-time. I've heard of a various different amount of work schedules, though. I've, I know a mother who's single, and she has, you know, four kids, and she's a therapist and she works part-time and she makes enough money to provide for her family which is kind of cool um, so I know that there's traditionally the full-time but there's also a variety of schedules and you can pick your hours so that's kind of nice you can um, usually move your schedule around and you can meet your clients needs that way so you don't have to go work early in the morning you can work in the evening type thing. Um, so yeah, and then typical stressors, um, because of a ton of social interaction, uh, therapists um, are pretty much put, put on the plate where, you know, if their patient doesn't like their advice or has certain um, problems, there may need to be some precautions taking, taken, sorry. So say if a patient, you know, is physically aggressive, um, the therapist may need to be extra careful about their safety as well. Um, yeah, and some other stressors, you know, you have to have a sound knowledge of um, how to diagnose your patients and how to um, give them sound advice. You really have to know your stuff. And I think with this job, it requires a lot of brush up. So, you know, if you get a new patient that um, has something new that you haven't studied in a while, you're going to have to get back up and maybe open some previous textbooks or, um, you know, reflect back on things you learned to be able to help your patients more. And um, benefits, if you're self-employed, you pay for your own benefits, but uh, most marriage and family counselors get life, health, disability insurance and they also get paid holidays and vacations and they say not all but some receive a type of pension plan so common job tasks it's pretty self-explanatory but visiting with clients collecting data about clients using discussions questions and other methods to gather information um, they also evaluate the data collected and decide what course of action to best take to help their client um, you know, improve or get better from what they're struggling with. Clients, you know, they also represent their client. They refer them to agencies or other doctors or therapists that may have a better idea on how to help their client. You know, working, they just work with other therapists in the workplace if that's how they work. Educational requirements, um, they say a bachelor's in a field that's related to marriage and family and also a master's or a doctorate um, that advances your learning in marriage and family and they say once you graduate you also have to have um, including two years of supervised experience so you may have to work as an apprentice or as kind of an assistant for a while until you can get to the level that you want to be 
And for salary, I think um, it more applies to per hour or per visit. Um, they say that when you're just barely starting out, they recommend a lower fee that you charge your clients. But once you become experienced, I guess, once you've done it for a while, you can charge anywhere from $75 to $150 a session. And I also know from experience that it also depends on the type of organization you work for. Like, um, I worked with therapists who worked for LDS Family Services, and because they worked for a nonprofit organization sort of like that, they didn't get paid as much because they wanted it to be affordable for everyone. So certain things like that would matter. Um, but yeah, so that's my career profile.